Welcome everyone to this video cheat sheet where I'm going to be showing you how to deploy a sparse dense mode network. We're going to start off with the baseline show command of show IP PIM neighbor and interface to see if PIM is already running on the network. And then we're going to enable the debug command, debug IP PIM on one of the routers so that we can get its perspective as we enable PIM sparse dense mode throughout the entire network. And then we're going to finish up with the verification show commands of show IP PIM neighbor and show IP PIM interface on all the routers to ensure that they have their PIM neighbor adjacencies and that the interfaces are speaking sparse dense mode. So let's look at the network topology. We're going to be enabling PIM sparse dense mode on every single interface that's running an IGP or in our case OSPF. And I highly recommend that you do this if you're going to deploy some PIM technology in your network. By default, multicast does what's known as reverse path forward checks, and if it receives multicast traffic on an interface and it decides that the best way to get back to the source is over an interface, let's say that 3 sends some multicast traffic over to 4 and it came from 2, and 4 says, well, the best way to get back to that source is over this interface, and I don't have PIM enabled on that interface. It drops the traffic. So if you run an IGP over the link and you want to deploy multicast, you should also enable PIM on that interface, or in this case, PIM sparse dense mode, because that's what we're doing in this video cheat sheet. So we're going to be doing that throughout every single interface and every single link throughout our network here that runs an IGP, or in our case, OSPF. So let's get started. I'm going to start off with my show IP PIM neighbor and show IP PIM interface here on router 2 and I see that we do not have uh, any PIM neighbor adjacencies and there isn't any PIM configured on the interfaces on router 2 and um, I just did that to to show you that it's not enabled it's not enabled anywhere throughout the rest of the network. I'm going to spell debug but I'm going to enable debug here, debug IP PIM on router 2 so we get its perspective as we configure sparse dense mode on the network. So in a previous video cheat sheet, I showed you how to bring up an adjacency between router 2 and 3 and use PIM sparse dense mode to do that on the interface. We're basically going to do that, once again, on every single interface that's running OSPF. So I'm going to go ahead and just start copying and pasting because, like I said in a, in a previous video cheat sheet, I showed you guys how to deploy IP PIM sparse dense mode. As you can see there on router 2, we're already starting to get some, some debug output, but we'll come back and look at that here in a minute. So that was router 3, router 4. router 5 and then router 6 so now I'm going to go back over all our routers I'll stop the video to do it but I'm gonna go back to all our routers I'm gonna do it now I show IP PIM neighbor and a show IP PIM interface to ensure that we now have sparse dense mode PIM adjacencies over all the OSPF speaking links. So I'm here on router 2 and as you can see from our debug output we had some things going on on the link from 2 over to 4 and then also on the link for 2 over to 3. So I did our my, the two commands that I, I referenced show IP PIM neighbor and show IP PIM interface and and 2 has a, a neighbor adjacency to 3 and 4 with sparse dense as the mode. 3 has a neighbor adjacency to 5, 4, and 2 with sparse dense as the mode. R4 has adjacencies to 6, 3, and 2 with sparse dense right here as the mode. 5 is to 3 and to 6 with sparse dense as the mode. And 6 over to 4 and to 5 with sparse dense as the mode. So that is how you deploy sparse dense mode throughout your network. You want to do it on every single interface that is running an IGP, in this case OSPF.